stage two of the Arctic race. From Bayern, 178 kilometers to Fauska, the longest stage of this year's Arctic race of Norway. Well, some nervous times, perhaps, with the Queen stage still to come. Would it be one for the sprinters? Climbing straight out of the back door, this was a tough task. Mountains, you better believe it, are the man who wanted to be in that coveted jersey. The Peacock jersey found himself up front once again in the company of two from Coop with Funja and Inga Brixen. Peo also bridging over from Tudor Pro Cycling. The Mountains points were up for grabs and a few other things as well. Not least a stage win for somebody quick and hard. What a day in prospect. And it was time really to start winding in a break that had had its head out there. An accord settled between them after a big battle for the opening KOM. Jornik almost guaranteed that jersey. Who would be guaranteed the win at the end of the day? Highly technical approach with two gravel sections and some really mean climbs in part of a double loop scenario at the very end. This is going to be a difficult task. Well, our breakaway still had an advantage at the first passage of the finish line. By the time we'd come around, we would have dealt with some gravel sections. And really, the break looked doomed. Simon Peo, though, had belief. Jornik had done enough, we think, to secure that jersey. We'll find out in the next couple of days whether it will belong to him. Combativity award would go to Simon Peo. And no surprise, he was so very brave out there. Kicking on, knowing there was a potential for a stage win. Well, sometimes obstacles present themselves and it is the race towards them that is the problem. And we were starting to loom large, not only the last kickers, but also that coveted and desperate gravel section. We wanted it to be in the race, these didn't. Brad, Brad at the back of the barn. Driving on through the dust, kicked up by the motorcycles and support cars that had to go by Sam and Peo. Everyone else was in a cloud. Once clear, dust on the wheels, some nervous times, punctures started to rain down on the unlucky. Sam and Peo took the bell. All hell about to break loose for those who have some fast legs and a strong mind and body. Here we go. Alexander Kristoff must not lose position here. He's on to the cobbles, uh, stays with it. Van Ersbrook just on his inside here. And Kristoff still has the lead out. Almost a golden run for home. And there's uh, some shoulders going on here as well in the battle for position. Oh, they're fighting uh, loud and proud here. And now they come down and into town. And he's still got the lead out, Alexander Kristoff. This is almost a golden ride for him. My goodness, he's had to work hard to be in this position. Uh, Gagnier is in a good post, uh, uh, Tamino as well, but this now is a straight line all the way home it seems. No, oh, and he can't catch a good man sometimes. Will it be the blue jersey that rounds him at the very last here? We shall wait and see. The uh, the blue jersey is with it's Tom Van Aersbroek, and here comes Alexander Kristoff. Kristoff's going on the barriers, Van Aersbroek's following him at the moment. Alexander Kristoff looks like he's going to make it all the way home. No way through! Oh, the Viking delivers once again. Phenomenal, the leader of this race doubles his margin. Yeah, we had a great lead out again and a great work from Marcus and Rasmus during the stage. So uh, I'm very happy and pleased with the team performance. And uh, it's really cool and fun to be a part of a, such, such a good team uh, like we are here. What a winner. Back-to-back -back victories for Alexander Kristoff, the Viking in charge. Van Aersbrook just trapped in by the very clever court, prevented from going by, Janier missing out. And our glorious leader is Kristoff, staying in that coveted Midnight Sun jersey with an advantage of 10 seconds over Van Aersbrook 
going into the big climbing stage. He also earns points, of course, and made a big one today. Our king of the mountain. Oh, has he done it? We think so. Jojnik with a fantastic lead on 27 points. Peo, nearest man to him on 13. And our young rider becomes Mauro Schmidt going into the Queen stage tomorrow.